We're ready. Hey, Colin, you're, you're a little young for this, but uh, that's a heck of a senior moment out there tonight. Talk about that. Um, I mean, the play was dialed up. We executed. We blocked up front. You know, Quinn threw a hell of a pass, and I just did what I was supposed to do and just catch the ball and make sure I got my feet in balance. Talk about the emotion of winning a game like that and, uh, you know, under the circumstances tonight. Yeah, I mean, Coach Long always tells us, you know, we got to get emotionally prepared to play. And, uh, you know, there's no, there's no emotion greater than, you know, having to play like that, especially with your brothers, your seniors that you've been working hard with for the past couple of years and, you know, the team, the, the underclassmen as well. So I feel like that's one of the best ways that you can finish a career. Well, how does this game measure up against Boise State last year? What's more exciting for you? I think it had to be this one just because it's my senior year. And I won't have to see them again. I I think it's the best thing that could happen to them. Uh, A lot of these guys came a long time ago when this program and the team wasn't very good. And they came with a faith that they could help make it better. And obviously they've done that. And to be able to win a game like that against a team like that at home on your last home game, that's something that they can carry with them the rest of their lives. And, you know, I, I can still remember some of the games I played in. And that's one they'll remember forever. You know, we, we just focus on that, you know, in, in workouts and on the, on the practice field, um, you know, up and down, it's, it's always going to be something bad that happens in the game. You just don't have to know how to bounce back from it. And, you know, I fumbled that ball, you know, everybody on the sideline just kind of came up to me, gave me a pat on the back, and they were just like, you know, we're going to need you in the end. We're going to need you in the end. And I just, you know, kept my head up and put that behind me. Coach, can you talk about the play of your defensive backs tonight? I, I thought the defense played well the whole night. I, I thought we got decent pressure on the quarterback. I thought we handled the running game pretty well, except for one long run when we got hooked at the line of scrimmage and missed the shot at the sideline. Um, other than the one play where they got it down there in field goal range where we missed three tackles, that would have been a shorter gain than the long one they got down there with. I thought the defense uh, played hard. I thought they were physical. I thought they. Uh, tried to hit them and kept them under control, and they're a really, really good offense. How about the special teams coach? I know that you had a tough return for a touchdown, but other than that, there are a couple of mistakes. Really I think the kicking game has been our Achilles heel all year long. I mean, uh, you give up a kickoff return for a touchdown, that really hurts. Um, I don't know how you prevent this from happening, but getting hit with the ball on a rugby punt. I, I guess you just can't block anybody. Just tell the punt returner he's all by himself because that's one of those unusual things that happen. But then then returning a punt for a touchdown, that kind of balanced out with the kickoff return we gave away. So, I mean, I don't know. He hurt his ankle when he was in on a tackle on a kickoff. I tell you what, I, I, I want to take it back too. I did one thing by the coaching manual tonight, punting instead of going for it. And it almost cost us the game, so I'm never doing it again. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what you do. I mean, if you win the toss, you always put your defense out there first. So when your offense goes out there, they know exactly what they have to do to either get you to the next overtime or win the game. So thank goodness we won the toss. So we got to go on defense first. Coach, did you feel like you guys went into overtime with the momentum? Yeah, I think so. Plus, uh, we've been there three other times before this time, so it's no big deal to us. We practice live action in overtime against other teams. It's like exhibition season. I mean, it just shows that you, you grow over time, especially after you rep it and rep it and rep it and practice every day. And, you know, it's just kind of like you, you form a relationship with them and it just becomes natural.
Rocky, can you talk about that when we're running into overtime, we didn't follow that much of the game, and that was a big third down run? I, I thought that the move he made on the free safety that would have probably prevented him from getting the first down is the best move I've seen him make since he's been here. And I was far enough down on the sidelines, I, I got to see it from the backside. And I'm telling you what, there's not a safety in the country would have tackled him on that move. And I think that's the best move he's made. But I also thought that both him and Pumphrey, in a very difficult situation, ran really, really hard because they're really good up front on defense. Plus, they were stacking an extra guy in there, made it very difficult to run the ball. And those guys kept pounding it in there no matter how hard it was. But that move he made down by the goal line in overtime was something special. I'm glad I'm not the guy who was trying to tackle him. Colin, talk about uh, your teammate Chad Young. You know, the fullback position is kind of an unsung hero, but he made a couple big plays tonight. What has he meant for this team? Um, you know, Chad's one of the biggest reasons we've had a thousand yard rushers in you know back to back to back to back seasons. And I feel like you know Chad Young's the toughest guy on this football team. Um, you know, fullbacks, you're you're running into linemen, you're running into linebackers, and the way he does it, um, you know, he, he's got all types of stingers and neck injuries and fingers and everything. And he goes out there every single every single down like it's you know the first play of the game. Um, he gets, that's why he gets player of the game every week. Um, you know, nobody else can can go out there and put their body on the line for a team like that and, and still come back week after week. I think that just shows a lot of character. And um, you know, I love Chad, you know, the most uh, when it comes down to you know putting putting his body out there. He does it week in week out and. Um, just glad to have him on my team and not the others. Do you have an update on Dilly? No, I don't have an update on him. Well, it seems like a lot of games here, you guys have started slow, but this game has came out firing. Like, what's the difference? Is it like, a, like an energy or? Um, I really don't have an answer for that. I think it's just maybe it might be, it might have been senior night, maybe it might have been, you know, the last time we. You know, we're, we're going to be in Qualcomm. I mean, I said we're a stadium for the 2013 season. I really don't know. Hey, Colin, uh, next week you guys got UNLV. Eight and four sounds a lot better, looks a lot better than some of the five. How are you going to get your seniors and the rest of the team ready to go? Uh, same way we do every week. I'm going to uh, turn it around. Watch film uh, on what we did wrong this week. Watch, watch film on what we did uh, good from this game. And then, you know, come in ready to work on Tuesday, film room, the practice field, and, and workouts during the week.